Now you might be aware that Nextcloud has a tagging feature. This is very helpful if you want to give tags to files so you can much more easily find them. But you can also say, hey, this is an internal project or these are sensitive files, security critical files. Now these tags are not visible in the files view and as a user or as an administrator, you can automate a variety of actions on these tags. It can be very simple. You can say, hey, if a file has the tag PDF, convert it into a PDF file. Or if a file is dropped in a specific folder, you know, uh, put a chat message in one of the chat rooms about this. Or add a specific tag or other things. But as an administrator, you can also use this to codify the policies around security in your organization into Nextcloud files. So you can block access to files based on these policies. You can say, okay, uh, if a file is called internal project X, then people outside of the project X team are not able to access these files. Or you can say uh, files that are accessed out of a certain IP range, access will be blocked. Even if people share with a public link, um, people can then think like, okay, you know, it is now available for other people, but you as an admin have put in the policies in Nextcloud so that files cannot be accessed outside of certain time range, outside of IP ranges, outside of geographical areas, or again, because of ownership, tags, and other factors. So this is a very good way to keep files secure. Now, of course, blocking is a very, well, black and white thing. Either it's available or it's not. But sometimes you need to make documents available for review by an external party. Let's say you work on the merger and acquisition, and you want to show financial or legal documents to a third party, but you don't want them to download the files. Now, in Excel, you have the option to share, but block downloading of files, and people can still see it. Now, of course, you don't want them to make screenshots of everything, so then you can enable the watermarking. And this will make sure that while people can see the document, and you can even give them editing rights, they will not be able to download the documents or do easily taking screenshots, and then you know the watermarks will show when they take screenshots uh, that they did that. Now, of course, manually tagging files for security has a problem, which is that, well, people make mistakes and somebody can forget to set a tag. Now, you can automate some of this. You can say, okay, people in a certain group, let's say uh, the finance department, when they upload Excel spreadsheets, you know, let's give these the tag secure uh, or critical because, you know, there's probably financial information. But this is still not watertight, and there might be moments that you want to set tags based on the content of files. Now, for this, we have the automatic files classification. So what this does is it looks in the content of files and allows you to set some policies so that, for example, credit card information or personal information, banking data, is detected, and these files then get automatically the correct tags that you have configured. And this way, all the policies that you have set into Nextcloud will be automatically applied to these files. Now, these tags are also available on our mobile devices. You can see them there in the file view. Of course, as a user, when the tags are editable, and that can be configured. But if they are editable, you can also add tags and remove tags as a user.